guys, Sensors Tech Forum here with another removal video which aims to show you how to get rid of this nasty malware, adware or pesky notifications that may be appearing on your Android device. Before we start this video, always back up your files and use trustworthy sources for guidance. Make sure that these are actual people because many sites or channels may be after your money. The first step I'm going to take you through is to boot into safe mode. Now. To do that, it's fairly simple and it blocks any third party apps from interfering with your removal. Simply hold the power button and then hold the power off icon and tap once for safe mode. That's it. Your phone will now reset in safe mode and you can recognize that by the safe mode words that are written on the corners of your screen. Delete apps and optimize. Now I'm going to show you how to get rid of any pesky apps and optimize your device to run smooth. All you have to do is slide down. In safe mode and then locate the settings button which is usually a gear lever from the settings menu the first thing you have to do is locate your apps from here you can manage your apps and see what permissions they take from you let's say that some app is a virus for demonstration purposes we use this legitimate app you can see any apps permissions by tapping on permissions for example this app is taking our location now if we don't like the app and won't remove it, you simply tap on uninstall and tap on OK. This will get rid of the app so it's no longer a problem for us. But this is not all. If you get rid of any apps that are suspicious, you may fix your problem. But if you want your device to run smooth, you have to go to device care, power options or battery. Depends on the device. Then you'll see memory. Go ahead and tap on that. This will show you how much RAM is taken by apps on your device. Usually most devices have the clean now button which will clean up any RAM. As you can see here that it is freeing up 1.5 gigs of RAM and it will help your device open apps faster and multitask faster which is very good for its health. Another thing you can do is if you go on the power options or battery you can see here any apps that may be taking up a lot of your power and you can close those apps to stop uh, to prevent them from reducing your battery lifetime which is also good and that just about sums it up for taking care of any pesky apps that may be playing your device and optimize next step is to clean up chrome to do that you have to simply locate google chrome while in safe mode by opening your apps and tapping on it once. After you open Google Chrome on the top right hand corner of your screen you will see the three dots menu. When you tap on it simply tap on settings which will open the settings menu. From the settings menu simply locate the notifications. When you tap on those you see all the notifications that Chrome is allowed to display on your device. If you scroll further down, you'll see all of the websites that are allowed to display notifications through Chrome on your device. You have the choice to disable these notifications by simply tapping from the right side of the site. And as you can see here, we are disabling some of them. But the more permanent solution would be to go to in-app notification settings and open it, after which hold down your finger on the website you want removed permanently and then simply tapping remove to get rid of it. Now that we have gotten rid of any notifications that are bothering us, the next step is to go to settings once again, but this time locate the privacy and security menu. Here you will see a button that says clear browsing data. Simply tap on it and then you will be able to locate any browsing history and cookies that you have to remove. Untick saved passwords if you have any important passwords stored and tap on clear data. If you have any important websites, you can untap them from here, but generally it's cleared by tapping on the clear text, which will clean up all of the pesky websites that are tracking you with any cookies and any other uh, means to obtain your location, your browsing behavior, and so on and so forth. Now I've showed you how to clean up Google Chrome, let's clean up Firefox. To clean up Web Mozilla Firefox, I have to go back to um, regular mode because Firefox is a third party app and simply doesn't work uh, on the safe mode. So all I have to do is press on the power button of your device and then simply tap twice on restart to reset your phone and as 
you will reset it you see that safe mode is gone and you're again in normal mode now simply what you have to do is locate Firefox and open the app and then on the bottom right hand corner of your screen you see the three dots menu and then tap on settings then you will have to go down and see where it says notifications you have to tap on notifications and here you see all the notifications which can of course be disabled if you wish or you see any pesky notifications from Firefox the next step is to delete browsing data tap on that and then tap on the delete browsing data button to simply clear all the cached cookies and other data that may be stored via Firefox on your device and basically that is how you take care of Firefox on your Android device and the next step which I will take you through is cleaning up Opera to clean up the Opera browser you will again have to go back into a normal mode in case you are in safe mode by tapping on restart after holding the power button and then you have to simply go and locate Opera then after you open the app on the Top, bottom right hand corner of your screen simply tap on the Opera logo and then go to settings and after that you have to go further down and locate the clear browsing data button and just like Google Chrome select any objects you want gone you can also go to advanced and select any advanced objects you want gone that are stored like cached images and files and then all you have to do is deselect passwords if there is an important site you logged in and tap on clear data. As you can see it says here data cleared and Opera is now free of any cache. Now in case you have Edge browser installed on your smartphone device, uh, simply boot back into normal mode by tapping on restart after holding the power button and then you can locate and open Edge browser and after you do that you will locate on the bottom middle of your screen the three dots where it says settings and then after opening settings you will see that Edge has menu where you can locate the privacy and security options when you open those options you can go ahead and locate clear browsing data tap on it and then deselect or select any safe passwords you have select everything else and simply tap on the clear button you can also select to clear anytime the browsing data anytime you exit your web browser simply tap twice to confirm it and you have cleared any cookies or anything that might be tracking you on edge browser now the next step is to scan your device to do that you have to go back into normal mode and install any anti-malware or antivirus app now when you reset your device and you are in normal mode to do that you have to of course locate the Google Play Store when you get there uh, you can use any antivirus but we've chose to use Avast when you open Avast you search for it simply tap on install and wait for the app to install after Avast installs on your device you should see a button which says open simply tap on this button and this will open your antivirus below you see a scan now button which after tapping it's asking it's gonna ask you to allow permissions to siphon through your files and apps and then this app will scan for free your device and locate if there is any malware installed in it and hence remove it of course as you can see here it's not only scanning through the apps but it's also looking for the storage uh, so Basically, this is how you can get rid of any pesky apps, malware, uh, adware, and notifications from your device. Uh, we uh, really much like to um, say thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you liked this and you found it useful, please like, share, and subscribe. And we hope uh, that you write us a comment uh, because we always aim to answer any comments as quickly as possible with any questions that you might have and basically that's it guys thanks for watching and have a nice day